Make versus do. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. My name is Sean and this is Free 99 English. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing when to use the words make and do. This video was actually suggested by one of my WhatsApp group members. And as soon as you make this mistake, every native speaker is going to know that you're not a native speaker. So if you want to sound more like a native speaker, you've got to nail down when to use make and do. But before we jump in to the video, I'll ask that you consider subscribing to the channel. It's free after all. Make sure you hit that like button if you find this video useful. And please help share this video so that other English learners can benefit from it. And of course, follow me on my social medias. The links will be below. Also, stick around to the end and we'll have a short test. All right, let's jump right in. Let's start with make. With make, you are creating something. You're producing something. You're building something. You're constructing something. And you're choosing something. So, for an example, let's make some coffee. So when you make coffee, you are producing the coffee. You're making it with your hands. You put the coffee grinds through the coffee machine and out comes the coffee. You've produced coffee. So you make coffee. Let's look at another example. I'm going to make you breakfast. So in this example, you are creating something. You're using your hands and you're getting the eggs, you're putting them into the frying pan, you're grabbing that bacon, you're frying it up in the pan, you're creating a breakfast. You put the eggs and the bacon together, you have created a meal. And the last example of make that we'll use is a waitress comes over to you and asks, did you make a decision on what you'd like to order? In this example, you are trying to choose what you want. You're trying to decide something. Another more direct way is to say, make a decision already or make up your mind. Now this waitress is a bit rude and probably won't get a tip. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we've got make. Now let's move on to do. Do is used when you are performing general tasks, repetitive tasks, obligations, or multiple actions. Let's look at some examples. I have to do the laundry today. Doing the laundry is an obligation. Everybody's got to do it. It sucks, but you got to do it. It's an obligation. Otherwise, you don't have any clothes and you end up smelling like a dirty hobo. Oh. Oh. Now, I should mention that while most housework does involve the word do, there is an exception. So when we say we're doing the laundry or doing the dishes, yes, we're using the word do. But what about the bed? What happens when you tidy up your bed? You make the bed. Why do we say make instead of do? I have no idea. English can be silly sometimes. My best guess is that you're making the bed look more presentable. You're making the bed look more nice. So you're making the bed. It's a strange one and you're just going to have to remember. Another example is, I'm so upset. Let's do some shopping to help cheer me up. So in this example, you're not creating the shopping. You're doing the shopping. You're performing a task. And the last example before the short test is, I really enjoy doing yoga every day. It helps keep me limber. In this example, you are performing a repetitive task. You're doing it every day. Okay, you guys are smart. You know it and I know it too. I'm sure you've got this down. There's no need to go over more examples of make and do. So let's jump right into the test and see how we do. Number one, I have to go home and hmm, some chores this afternoon. And the next one, I'd love to see you soon. How about we, hmm, a date for next week? And the next one, 
The children love to hmm fun of the teacher when she's not looking. And the next one. I have to hmm three exams and write a huge essay this term. And the next one. I think the grocery store opens at 7 a.m. But let's hmm certain I don't want to be stuck outside in the rain. And the last one. Melissa likes to hmm her nails before going out. Okay guys, how'd you do? Be sure to comment below with your answers. I'd love to see them. And feel free just to comment below just to show some love. I love those too. And if you want to learn more, feel free to check out these two videos. And of course, I know you guys love Hit My Face, so go ahead, hit that face. Go ahead, hit it, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys over in the next video. Peace.